Welcome to Control. This is a game by Remedy Entertainment where you play as a special agent, part of some secret US task force that is all about finding and studying and controlling, I think hence the name, controlling strange phenomena that break the fabric of reality. I don't know much about it and I've kept it that way on purpose. Figure it's more exciting if I go into it not knowing anything. I have heard, though, that one of the big influences for Control is an old, obscure miniseries that aired on the Sci-Fi Channel, back when it was called the Sci-Fi Channel, uh, called The Lost Room. And if you haven't seen it, I recommend it. It's really good. That show is all about these artifacts, everything from a, a bus ticket to a matchbook, just completely mundane artifacts that all have their own very unique reality-shifting power. And I think Control is going to be similar. So uh, let's jump into it. I've only played it for a couple minutes just to check and make sure settings are set correctly. Let's go. New game. Gonna overwrite. I skipped watching the intro cutscene because that wasn't important for tweaking settings. So this is actually going to be my first time watching the cutscene too. Fair warning. This is going to be weirder than usual can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that I get my hopes up. So many times, it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like... We live in a room. And there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. The room... And the poster. The picture is something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie, what is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell, and the picture, it's different for each of us. It can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes, something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Anyone here? So is this the real world? Oh, you can actually read that. I mean, it's really, really small, but it's readable. Do not bring classified documents beyond the executive security desk or you will be terminated. Okay. <laughs> the Bureau. God, this game's really good looking. This is on medium settings, by the way. I tried setting it to low and it looked beautiful even on low.
collectibles. Correspondence. Prohibited items reminder. Reminder, certain objects are not allowed inside the bureau. Recent incidents have necessitated an issued reminder on prohibited materials. Unauthorized weapons, pagers, laptops, smart watches, smart phones, smart gaming devices, anything smart. Number two pencils. Only number two pencils? What about number three? Any objects considered iconic representations of an architect? typal concept uh e.g rubber ducks ketchup bottles what <laughs> all material under bureau investigation is to be brought in through the private entrances if you see any lobby personnel in breach of these policies please notify your supervisor immediately Internal lockdown in effect. Building lockdown in effect. Multiple containment breaches detected. Multiple building shifts detected. Head of research override. Really does feel like a government office, doesn't it? Coffee cups and little flags. This is as far as I went, by the way, when I was testing stuff, so it is 100% new from here. Our Bureau at work. Flushable toilets? That's disappointing. Federal Bureau of Control. All these years I've been looking for them and they were hiding in plain sight. Wait, are we not a member of the Federal Bureau of Control? It's like everybody just disappeared. Something happened and they all got teleported away. This place is so eerie. Security order. Federal Bureau of Control. Attention all. <laughs> Almost everything's redacted. A shark in his, although secure, permission to, following basic protocol, shoot to kill. Good luck. human being. Presumably. Hey, excuse me. There you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti. The janitor, by the way. You'll work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, they, they, you are 
hell of it. <laughs> They're finished. Take them behind the sauna, you malaut. You malaut. That means goddamn it. Jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No face. Yep, the name Ahti. They mentioned Sana, Yumalauta, a couple other things. 100% Finnish. In case you didn't know, by the way, the company that made this Remit Entertainment is actually a, a Finnish company. But that said, I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, that's him. Okay, that obviously wasn't there before. This is where the picture of the janitor was. Now it's an elevator. The cell and the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? Did I lose you there for a moment? You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. 17 years since the men of this bureau took him. People of the bureau kidnap people? By the way, if you're wondering how I knew all that stuff about Finnish people and what Jumalauta meant, uh, in case you don't know, I actually live in Finland. I moved here about a year and a half ago. Been learning Finnish, so... Yeah. Oh, look at that. That is some real, like, government agency generic brand. Everything is a white... A white wrapper. Pistachios. Potato chips. Trail mix. Crackers. What's that at the bottom? Oh, j <laughs> it's bars that just say fiber and protein. <laughs> it's not even describing what the food is, just like what its nutrients are. Whoa, that- oh. Huh. I feel like that should have been nailed down or something. Well, I guess not if it's on little stands. We got two things. Let's do collectible first. Approved terminology reminder. A reminder regarding drafting any public facing material while pending any notifications of death related to the Willow AWE. Please adhere to the following guidelines. Words slash phrase to use. In the service of his or her country. Regret. Proud slash pride. Will be remembered. Words slash phrases to avoid. Alaska. 
Scissors. Blood slash bleed. Loss. Apologies slash sorry. And what's here? Mission briefings. Welcome to the oldest house. Proceed deeper into the bureau. Jesse Faden arrives at the oldest house, the headquarters of the Federal Bureau of Control, to look for answers to the mysteries of her childhood. Is that a stapler or an altered item? Don't take office equipment outside of the building. Mission update. Did it update? Board countermeasures. You do not have any board countermeasures. Don't know what that is. Oh, official and non official documents. Non official trench. Do not disturb. Uh, so, trench is the director of this place, I think. Person we keep seeing in the photos on the wall. Barbara, I am not to be disturbed. Cancel all my appointments for the day. For the rest of the week. I can't trust them, Barbara. Not a single one. wide trunk. What is that? Zachariah Trench. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. You want me to pick it up? The murder weapon? Really? It's like they're being communicated to by somebody. And I don't think it's just... They're talking to the player. I, I think there's something more to it. Results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Crosshair now. I think this game might be a shooter, or at least that might be part of it. That is certainly what Remedy has done with Max Payne and Alan Wake. They also love to have live action sequences, like not full live action sequences, but when you're watching something on TV or, or in the case on the projector, that live action sequence, they did that in Max Payne and they did that in Alan Wake too. Follow the board's instructions to complete the Astral Plane Challenge. Oh, oh, 
I have a health bar now. Okay. Oh, that's melee? I was thinking it'd be a punch. That's not a punch. Oh my god, what is that? Oh no. Oh, that thing's horrifying looking. Mmm. Ugh. Just wrong enough to just look like a monster, but just human enough to still be creepy. It's a gun just floating up there. The same gun. Very special gun. It's not normal at all. It didn't even have an open barrel when we picked it up, and it's vibrating. What does this thing shoot? It looks like bullets. But the ammo just comes back. There's no reloading. Whoa. If I press R, it switches shoulders. What are those little dots of light? Oh my god, <laughs> I almost went off the edge. Drop health elements when damaged. Collect health elements to restore health. Oh, that's what those dots are. Something's coming. This threat. An attack. Duty as director. Did you hear that? It's the dead man. Right after the pyramid spoke to me and it was just noise and I understood every word. And this gun's alive. You know what? I'm happy. Happy to be here. Things have quieted down outside. Is it safe to go? Toggle map. Whoa. This game seems to have large levels. Cool. Um, it shows there being something in this direction. Is there a secret, like, book to pull to open it? Oh, 
destructibility. Oh wow, a lot of destructibility. Holy crap. That is really cool. Oh, they even use decals for the particle effects. So there's like lots of wood chunks left over, but they're not 3D models to save on performance or just a decal. That's really cool. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. Oh. It said something in the bottom right that I missed. It's health. Mm hmm. Oh, it was so cool what was happening when we were attacking them. They're just exploding with like color and just they're anomalies. They're not right. God, that is beautiful. Crouch now. Cool. Online. Secure line of communication. Guide us. Breach the hotline. The hotline, says the dead man. Okay. up. I think I shot one of these people because I thought there were those things that would attack me, but I think they're just, I don't know. 
Doesn't seem like they're going to attack me. Hope none of this is real and I didn't just murder somebody. New stuff everywhere? Oh, multimedia. That's the thing we... Have we watched this? Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. A side note, remember to cover their connection to the astral plane as well. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Lose and you're, well, fired. Thank you. I'm Dr. Darling, head of research, Federal Bureau of Control. Well, I guess we saw part of that, but not the whole thing. Executive meeting minutes. Agenda items for next executive meeting. Rising costs of AWE response. Update on mold eradic eradication efforts. Upcoming annual salary review. New supplier of coffee filters to be found and vetted. Please come prepared. Thank you for your time. This sounds so boring. This is amazing given what they do here. Case files. Service weapon OOP 1 KE. Containment procedure. No unique procedures required. Description slash para, para utility. The object's form is variable. When bound, the object allows para utilitarians to something. This object must only be bound by individuals seeking the role of something. The object will determine whether, if rejected, the applicant is terminated. This process is dictated by the... though their criteria is unknown. Background. The object was discovered inside the oldest house in the room that is now used as the director's office. The popular hypothesis... something something, many forms throughout history... Mjolnir, Excalibur, Vera, nu uh, Ver Vera Nostra, all weapons that something of their wielders... If objects of power are the convergence of forces based on the collective subconscious, then this may be the original manifestation of that event. If this is the case, something something, see Dr. Darling's presentation 11.1 .1 for more details. Hiss guard. Field research on his entity, his corrupted security guard. That's what we've been fighting. The bureau has many internal security personnel. The his was quick to take advantage of this fact. His guards used the standard issue bullpup rifles they carried prior to corruption, while the armored guards carry pump action shotguns. They have no observed paranatural abilities, with the exception that certain his guards are protected by a shielding of dense his resonance, capable of stopping bullets. Is this shielding a result of prolonged Hiss corruption? Does the Hiss mature in organic hosts over time? More data is needed. Did the Hiss target individuals with combat training? Does the Hiss have that level of cognizance? Does it utilize hosts for tasks they are best suited to? Combat trained hosts are reserved for combat? These are all questions for later, though it is obvious that corrupted individuals retain knowledge on the use of their weapons. By order of Director Jesse Faden. That's me. I guess I really am the director now. Director Trench photograph. So much is expected from the director. The responsibility. The privilege. Wow, what a great, great quote. <laughs> Says basically nothing.
Yeah. Wow. We're just... We're the, just the director now. That is strange. We're in executive affairs. an unanticipated building shift, follow these simple steps. 1. Search the room for any altered items or objects of power. 2. Carry the altered item or object of power to the nearest safe room. 3. Wait for bureau staff to find you and the object. If there are no altered items or objects of power in the vicinity, then reach your supervisor via the nearest intercom and await further instructions. Thank you for your attention. So that was just what's here, right? No reason to listen to it again. Reminder. Yeah. If you experience... <laughs> that is so cool. Oh my god. That is so cool! That is so freaking cool! I just took a chunk out of a table and then it made the stuff on it fall and there's splinters all over the ground. That is so cool. Am I hearing echoes? People? Don't let mold hit your ride. Perform daily body checks for foreign plant material. Oh, if I hold down G, then it takes me directly to the thing and I don't have to go click around to find it. Federal Bureau of Control dinner reservations. Dinner reservations at 7 p.m. at Chez Ombre. Wife will meet you there. Don't be late. Flowers are ready for you at lobby reception. Remember, she's turning 46. You, you have to remind them of their wife's age. Okay. It does say seek shelter. We've seen that all over the place. Warning saying seek shelter. This is the shelter. How does it shelter us though? What's special about it? I don't think that protected the people inside very well, did it? Marshall. Hey, that's my name. AWE Investigations. For Marshall's eyes only. Whoa. <laughs> Perfect. Marshall, we checked out the suspected AWE in Duluth. It wasn't anything. Just like the house fire before this. And the malfunctioning clothes dryer before that. My team is getting pretty sick of duds. We need to find a better way to sort the fake AWEs from the real things. Or you need to rotate these field agents off for a bit. Anyway, we're en route to Sherman Ranch, next one on the list. Let's hope it's a little livelier there. Sincerely, Special Agent Keenum. Oh. 
What is that? Conceptual material, house memory. Undefined reading and house memory. This one I think we already had, but this one we just got. What? I don't know what that is. I don't know what we can do with that. What does that mean? Conceptual material, so it's a physical manifestation of information or something? Oh, I love that huge text over the whole screen. Hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. That babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. Visitor evaluations. How to handle unscheduled visitors entering the lobby. Start with the following. Welcome to the Federal Bureau of Control, established in 1964 as part of an effort to strengthen government relations. We are proud to serve the United States and her people as we strive for transparency and excellence in all aspects of our esteemed nation's infrastructure. If they do not leave, then ask them these questions. Are you here to see someone? Are you from New York City or just visiting? How would you find this place? If their answers are sufficiently harmless, explain that this is a secure federal office and that they'll need to leave. If their answers seem something, escort them to a private room. There, perform the gunner's psychological assessment. If their responses are within the acceptable range of deviance, see the provided scoring sheet, then something immediately. Remember, there is no such thing as too suspicious. I wonder if that's what happened to our... Or Jesse's brother, was it? Ask too many questions, and then the Bureau blanked them immediately? Research, urban legends, examination of paranatural topics, urban legends. Urban legends are believed to affect the creation of altered materials, but can also dictate the characteristics of an altered world event. Urban legends are understood as the modern evolution of Jung's archetypes. Probably not pronouncing that right. We recognize certain mm -hmm, informed by our own something and popularized by our media. We have additionally proven that urban legends can even be artificially something in popular culture using something our bureau's our bureau made anthology television program once the seeds are sown human imagination exacerbates the details certain paranatural phenomena contain clear elements of popularized folklore awe's that only occur on something a pair of scissors that consume human human what through two punctures on the something. These details, living in the minds of so many, have been given strength through belief. Urban legends are not just stories for children, they are paranatural realities waiting to happen. Interesting. Paranatural realities waiting to happen. Ooh, I don't like that. There's a lot of bad urban legends that would be quite scary and disturbing. And I'm also really, really disturbed by the pair of scissors that consume human blank through two punctures on the blank. Great. I love how much material there is to read. It's really interesting. Read and listen. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one, though. Whoa!
water came out of it. Grenades are a thing. Intense red and then that intense blue. with cleanse control wants to fully restore health and we'll restart here if we die with the bureau are you still sane i can't tell you how happy i am to talk to somebody sane the feeling's mutual yeah i'm pope emily pope and dr darling's assistant my turn should i lie Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh shit! You're the new director! Hold on! We're coming out! Director. Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow, this hostile force, this hiss, that works? Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah, I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. 
But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Okay. You with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. Oh, wait a minute. Control points. Control points are locations that the Bureau has identified as being vital junctions of the oldest house. When the appropriate harmonization devices are arranged around the control point in the something arrangement, the surrounding area will not experience any unforeseen building shifts. These control points are discovered by d -d -d detection of an unobstructed ping using the something within a 37 foot radius. Numerous researchers have attempted to define control points, calling them nerve junctures or something, or vulnerable spots of the oldest house. The common factor in these theories is that control points are susceptible to external influence, which allows us to stabilize the oldest house and work more confidently inside it. Theoretically, this technology could be extrapolated to stabilize the oldest house as a whole, but testing has found that certain parts of the building refuse to be something. Conceptual material, hidden trend. Loadout, personal mods, 1 out of 24. What? Energy boost? I can deconstruct it into 50 pointy up arrows. Plus 6% energy. Okay. So it looks like you can have three equipped at the same time. Although maybe you have to like level up or I don't know if there are levels. But I don't think I can put uh, use all three slots just yet. Oh, is this a weapon mod? Headshot boost. Headshot damage plus 37%. That's huge. So we're calling this grip. Oh, it's a weapon form because it's configurable. We're going to have different forms of it. It's not just a pistol and that's it. Oh, that's cool. Cleanse the Hiss Corrupted Agent. Which one? Outfits? How do I get more outfits? I want more outfits. Oh, this is amazing. I really didn't think they'd have that. Oh, I hope I can find some cute ones. And fast travel, but I think there's just this one place. Yes. Oh, look at how much stuff is here. I want to read it all. And it looks like it's almost all readable, actually. Office rules of conduct. Yeah, we're going to read the whole board. What about it? Speak in moderate volume. No personal calls. No food or drink around bureau documents or in the copy room. No using the photocopier for personal projects, but then scribbled next to it is or the 3D printer or the bureau stationery. Wear access badge at all times. No discussing confidential projects out loud. The one to finish the coffee pot makes a new one. Let's say hi and welcome to some new people in the oldest house. 
Oh, there's some really finished names here. Anne something. Temu. Yen, I think. Hard to see. And then we have Ted, which is not a very finished name. Pneumatic tube checklist. Place your items in the canister. Add foam padding top and bottom if you're sending blood or other specimens in a glass tube. Check that the canister is properly locked. Place the locked canister in the tube. Check the location code for the destination. Punch in the code and send the tube. First aiders are... Bunch of people. I'm looking for anything that stands out. Nothing stands out. Don't bring dogs into the office. Some of us have allergies. <sighs> I love dogs, but that's true. People do have allergies to them. Book club. That's on the verge of unreadable. Yeah, I can't really read that. Socks and ballerinas live at the oldest house. The, the, wait, there's like a musical performance happening at the oldest house? Isn't that the... Isn't that place a little dangerous? Whoa. People are sending stuff even now. Acoustic guitar for sale. Turns out it's pretty hard, <laughs> if interested. See Greg in maintenance, 50 bucks. Reminder to all staff, food left in the refrigerator in containment break room 3B has been known to vanish. Plan accordingly. Vanish because of a AWE? Or just because somebody ate it? Delays caused by house shifts do not count towards overtime. <laughs> Fuck off. God, they put so much work into the environment. It's gorgeous. Uh, where do I want to go? I still feel like I'm supposed to do something here, but maybe not. I don't know. There's two icons. Here, the yellow one, and then also this, like, fast-forward-looking thing, but... Uh, I can't actually do anything there. I don't need a heal. Opens. Oh, weapon mod. Um, shatter projectile boost. Projectiles fired plus two. Exclusive to shatter. So I can't really use that, right? No, because I don't have the shatter form or something. Maybe I should check uh, the journal and just see if I'm totally missing something about this quest. Jesse Faden arrives at the oldest... Um, guided... Yep, uh, she picks up the pistol. No, not that part. Yeah, actually, no, that doesn't mention anything uh, about cleansing his corrupted agent. But it is yellow. Which suggests that this central executive yellow is it as well. Hmm. Oh. Didn't see you there. Hmm. It didn't work. 
The hiss has burrowed too deep. Ripping it out rips them apart. It took them so long to fade away. Jesse, over here. We need to make a plan, Jesse. I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an... incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us, or a few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench, the ghost, or whatever he is, he mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun, an old Bakelite telephone, a direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mailroom. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. No stupid questions. The door to the comms department is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. Follow the signs to the mailroom. You can get to the hotline containment chamber through there. Good luck, Jesse. See you back here once you have the hotline. Thanks, Emily. Mm -hmm. We have another personal mod. Health recovery per element pickup plus 20%. That sounds really good. The new mission, of course. What do we have here? Portrait of Director Zachariah Trench. The hotline should be in the communications department. Oh. Wasn't expecting a dialogue tree. 
I want to talk about everything. You mentioned the oldest house. What is it? This building, the bureau headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. You've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. I've been to New York a few times. How didn't I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The oldest house doesn't like attention, so unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't. Which is perfect for us. The work we do here is essential, but unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Okay. Where did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. No, just inside. The source is internal, then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. I don't even know where to start looking. But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The his escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the his to destroy it. I'm with you on that, Emily. This trench guy. I keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense, but an echo may be. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun, maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. But that's just a hypothesis on my part. I'd need the gun to research it. <laughs> but you better hold on to that, given the circumstances. I think I will. Yeah. Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all... Well, new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Got it? Did she memorize this? <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Thanks. God, this dialogue is really good. The voice acting is fantastic. The writing's fantastic. The facial animations and, and body animations are all really good, too. I love this game so far. And I did not get that, so I actually want to listen to that again. Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all, well, new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Got it? Did she memorize this? Got it. Thanks. Okay, so objects of power can be bound to the astral plane, so they're more controllable. The other things, whatever they're called, are not bound to the astral plane and therefore more volatile. Kinda get it. So HRA stop you from becoming Hiss? It seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. Well, I began analyzing mine as soon as I got it. I mean, each one seems to emit a powerful short-range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, he just passed them out. Yeah, his behavior makes me wonder what exactly he knew. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know. They're so cheerful about all this. They don't seem to be worried in the slightest, really. <laughs> 